Philip Kunes asks, is there a five inch bind and fly for under 200 euros and under 250 grams? No. Five inch, under 250 grams, extremely specialized, extremely rare. If you want to be under 250 grams, you, you want to be in the three and a half to three inch or smaller category. If you want to build a five inch bind and fly under 250 grams, that's that's a tall order. The oh my god, uh, oh my god, freaking what the frick is it called? Uh, 250. Thank you. The oh my god, 250 fits the bill. It's not going to be 200 euros to build. Uh, no, no way. The analog version, I think you could probably get in for 350, 350 bucks. I'm just guessing. Um, this is a, but, but you want to be aware that building a five inch under 250 grams, you're making a lot of compromises in terms of durability. And I would, I would encourage you to rethink that. And to, if, uh, unless you just absolutely want a five inch, I think you're going to get, most people are going to get better served by like a three and a half inch if they need to stay under 250 grams. Um, let's go to fpvknowitall.com and search for sub 250 grams uh is are any of these around 200 euros that's the baby hook we don't want the we want an analog do they not have the analog version anymore it's hard to find the analog version how much is the smart 35 analog i don't know because get fpv's website is slow as shit 239 so I would steer you this direction. It's not under 200 euros, but I think you're going to struggle to get there. Uh, what about... Oh, Baby Ape 2. Oh, there you go. All right, so if you're willing to go down this small, the Baby Ape 2 is only 100 bucks and is pretty solid. Crux 3.5. Is that under 200 bucks, Machine Head? Not on, I don't look on Amazon. The price will be wacky. Oh, that's solid. Happy Model Crux 3.5. 142. Solid choice. Yeah, I would steer you away from 5-inch if sub-250 is your goal. That's my opinion. Um, Stellar FPV. Thank you for a ten dollars super chat. Can you take a look at XOX at XOXL Soxol FPV's Mini One S Stingray Y Four? Where is that? I'm going to put that exact text into the chat and see what we come up with. Stingray Y Four. What is a Y4? What we got here? Oh, he's tiny. He's a tiny boy. Have we got any? Oh, yeah, here we go. What do we got? Oh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so it's a Y4. It's small as shit. That is like, that is really so. Oh, I got some custom. Looks like it's ABS maybe or carbon nylon parts. Damn. That is, is he talking? No, it's music. Is he talking? Oh, shit. All right, but I can't, I don't want to let the music play. Oh, and it's not in English. Okay, hang on. We can, we can do this. Auto translate to what? Why would you do this, YouTube? You know what language I want. Also, fuck alphabetical order. English should be on the top. That's right. I said it. <laughs> What's going on on the screen? <laughs> that's a cute, that's a cute little. Here's the thing though. And, and this is a cool quadcopter. Why is it better than like just a, a an X geometry? He says the, the Y, I've flown a Y4 before. And I, people want a Y4 to be like a, tr a tricopter. But it isn't because it it just it isn't, and it seems like an X four is going to give you better yaw authority. Uh, not yaw authority. An X four is going to give you better roll authority because you've got 
your roll axis is uh, has two motors working instead of just one. And um, it's going to give you slightly more efficiency because you don't have two coaxial motors. I really would like to see a version of this that is a, a symmetrical X4. This is cute and cool, but I suspect a symmetrical X4 would fly better. And I, I wish you would make one. I think when he says that the Y4 flies better, some argument could be made that the X4 is such a ridiculous dead cat, and that's part of the problem. So that's what I would say. Uh, this is cool. Blunty, we should put this on the news. I think this is, like, cool enough to be newsworthy, although I'm not going to be in charge of that for the next couple of weeks, so you'll decide for yourself. But uh, uh, I wish that XOXO or Soxol or whoever, however you say the name, would make a, a proper X4 geometry instead of a Y4. Anyway. Um... Thank you for pointing that out, though. It was very cool to learn about that. Um, okay, we got that from Truth the Way I See It. That guy, Blue, can you recommend an FC with barometer and six motor outputs? Sure. I mean, there's a ton of them. But uh, why not? Why not? Why not the JBF7? My flight controller. Barometer, yes. Eight motor outputs, yes. $84, okay, okay, shut up. JBF7, sure. We got to look at the... Does the BDBF405 have eight motor outputs and a barometer? I mean, I'm, I it probably... Shut up! How is it $35? Are you joking? It's gotten cheaper. This used to be 40-ish. What the frick? What the frick? Does it have six motor outputs? I mean, got it. Uh, sure, it uh, must, right? Yeah, motor six, motor seven, motor eight, motor five. Does it have a barometer? I mean, I I would be, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, barometer. Okay. So like, for sure, like get the get the JBF7, right? I, it's a good flight controller, but geez, for 35 bucks, why wouldn't you buy the Speedy BF405? Well, there you go. It's a solid flight controller for the money. Chris Baca asks, is there a way to recover a corrupted Fat Shark DVR that was powered down before stopping the recording? Yes, Chris. Uh, this is not a sponsored post. Um, this is what I use. I, ever, especially ever since I started working with digital video transmitters, I don't know why it is. It seems like they corrupt files so much, and I don't know why. Hello? Did I start this app? Hello? I really think I started this app, but where? there it is. Here it comes. So the app is Wondershare Recover It. Wondershare Recover It. I'm gonna try. I don't know. Put the about page up. I should put the web page up. I'm put. I'm bringing up the app to show you guys that this is one. Like I use this on a daily basis. Um, I have a problem. I run into this problem on a DJI. Like I'll I'll have an SD card in my DJI goggles that the DJI goggles can read, but as soon as I put it in the computer, it says it acts like the disc isn't even formatted. And I have no effing idea why. And Wondershare Recover It has saved me so many times. In addition, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hang on, my bad. Wondershare Recover It gets lost files off your SD card. That's not what you're asking for. I'm very sorry. You want Repair It. Wondershare Repair It repairs broken video files. They're not cheap. Uh, but if you, like... They've saved my ass so many times. Yeah, Wondershare Video Repair. Um, it can repair those files. 